Hi, I'm Miriam from BBC Good Food and I'm going to show you step by step how to make a beef wellington. The first thing I need to do is cook the beef. I've got a kilo of beef fillet here, which is a great cut because it doesn't need like loads and loads of cooking. I've got my oven preheating to 220, which is 200 fan, and I'm going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil over the fillet. And then season it with lots of black pepper. That goes on my roasting tray and in the oven for about 15 minutes for medium rare or 20 minutes for medium. I now need to prepare a mushroom filling called a duck's L. I've got 250 grams of chestnut mushrooms in here, but you could use a combination of chestnut and wild mushrooms if you like. You need to chop these really finely. You can do this in a food processor if you've got one, but just make sure you pulse it rather than just continually blitzing it because you don't want it to be a puree or a smoothie consistency. So that's the sort of chunky breadcrumb consistency that you're looking for. Everything in the Wellington needs to be cold, so I need to leave that to cool and then put it in the fridge. I now need to cook the mushrooms. So I need two tablespoons of olive oil and 50 grams of butter. Let the butter melt in the pan until it's foaming and then add the mushrooms. And add one large thyme sprig as well. Quite a lot of water is going to come out of the mushrooms initially, so you just want to cook that off. So it's going to take about eight to ten minutes for all that to go. Once the liquid's been driven off, I'm going to season the mushrooms, some salt and pepper, and then 100 ml of white wine goes in. Just as before, we want to simmer that down until all the wine has been evaporated. So this is the consistency I want. I now need to cool it. So spread it out on a tray or a plate and it'll cool quickly. You want to discard the thyme as well because it's done its job. So leave this to cool now for about half an hour and then we can assemble the Wellington. So now it's the first stage of our Wellington assembly. I'm going to need 12 slices of prosciutto, which I'm going to lay on this sheet of baking parchment. I'm going to put six slices across the top and six over here overlapping so we get a good coverage. Now I'm going to spread over half of our mushroom mixture. Just spread that evenly, almost to the edge. And then sit our cooled beef fillet on top and the rest of the mushroom mixture goes on. And then just spread it over evenly with your hands. Now I'm going to roll it up using the parchment to help me. I'm going to put it really tightly so that everything stays in place and twist it at the end like a cracker. Then put that in the fridge while you roll out the pastry. For the outside of the Wellington, I need 500 grams of puff pastry. I'm going to take a third of that off, and that's for the base. Dust it with flour, and then I'm going to roll it out so it's about 18 centimetres long by 30 wide. And then put that on a non-stick baking tray, or line it with a piece of parchment like I've done. Then roll out the rest of the pastry. You need that to be 28 centimetres by 36. Pushing the rolling pin in like this helps keep its shape before you start rolling. And now we're ready to put everything together. Now unwrap the beef. Position that in the centre of your pastry and then any little straggly bits just tuck them in. To stick everything together and to make a gorgeous glaze on top, I've got two egg yolks and to that I'm going to add about a teaspoon of water. Brush that around the edge and then drape the larger piece of pastry on the top. It's easy to do this if you use your rolling pin. Once that's all tucked in, I'm just going to trim the edges off so it's all tidy. Press a fork around the edge to give a really neat design. This also helps to fuse the pieces of pastry together. Now glaze the whole thing in your egg yolk mixture. I'm now going to use the back of the knife to create a diagonal pattern. I'm using the back of the knife because I want to leave an imprint but I don't want to cut the pastry. This needs to go in the fridge now so it's completely cold before we bake it. That way the pastry will have enough time to cook but with the fillet inside being cold it's not going to overcook in the same time. 
The Wellington needs to chill for at least half an hour or you can leave it up to 24 hours if you prefer. This is one that we've had in the fridge overnight and before it goes in the oven I'm just going to brush it with a little bit more egg. My oven's preheated to 200 or 180 fan. My Wellington needs to go in for about 20 to 25 minutes for medium rare or 30 minutes for medium. It needs to be lovely and golden on the outside. The Wellington is cooked and it's beautifully golden brown. I just need to leave it now for 10 minutes to rest and then cut it into thick slices to serve.